All right, here we're back in the, the GW's test kitchen, Gary Wallerman's home kitchen. Uh, I think CT mentioned before, uh, this used to be Emerald's kitchen. But anyway, we're gonna be making uh, a recipe that I've had for a number of years. I got from Ruth Fertel when I worked at uh, Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And this is uh, what I've you know, come to believe is kind of a traditional oyster dressing recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna saute off a gallon of oysters. All right, our butter's good and hot. I'm gonna go ahead right in with our, our full gallon of oysters. And I picked through these and picked out some shells and whatnot, but a lot of the, the liquid of the dressing is gonna be the oyster liquid that comes out of the oysters. I've got hot sausage here, uh, and I've got andouille sausage. And I've got some, uh, some French bread, some New Orleans French bread that's, uh, that's cut and dried. Well, you know, everybody knows that oysters are, are mostly water. They're giving off a huge amount of, of liquid. Well, that's extremely tasty liquid. And we're gonna save every bit of that. And this liquid, you can tell how much there is there. There's probably a good quart. This is about three sticks of butter. And we're gonna start sauteing our garlic, celery, peppers, and onions in that. We'll start cooking out the hot sausage. The andouille doesn't really need to be cooked much because it's, it's already fully cooked. Okay, I've drained my oysters. I've got my oyster liquor, which looks like it's about five or six cups. And I'm gonna add about a cup of very salty clam juice. And I'm gonna go ahead and break the eggs into our oyster liquor and clam juice. And really you can think about this as kind of like a custard. The eggs are gonna, they're gonna enrich it and they're gonna cause it to thicken. And I've got some fresh chopped parsley here, a lot of it, like two bunches. I'm gonna just put that right in there now. Okay, our hot sausage is cooked enough, so I'm gonna go right into the vegetables with it. And then I'll put this back and we can heat this andouille up. Like I said, it's already cooked, but we'll heat it up in there a little bit. And this sausage is hot enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there as well. So you can see I've got a pretty good volume of vegetables and sausage here before I even add the bread. All right, we've got our gallon of, of slightly sauteed, cleaned and drained oysters. I'm gonna cut them up a little bit. And I'll go ahead and mix them in with our liquid. A little bit of my bread. And usually when you think of dressing, you think of a big pan full of dressing. But it's not a super stiff dressing. It's kind of a loose dressing. Uh, the eggs cause it to, to tighten up a good bit as they cook in it. All right, our stuffing is tightened up a little bit. You know, the breads absorb some of the liquid, but you see it's still, it's still pretty loose. I'm gonna spray a couple of these cups to help it from sticking, and I'm gonna fill them pretty full. I'm going in a hot oven about 375, 400 degrees. I'm gonna check it in about 10 minutes. All right, this is about 15 minutes later, and that is our Ruth Fertel original oyster and sausage dressing recipe. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh they print a new menu daily. Give them a call and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house.